Okay, so my name is Mr Horn. I'm the Head of Biology here at Bab Lake School. Uh, and the aim of this talk is really to give you guidance as to whether A-level biology is the right choice for you. Um, what I hope to do is to actually give you a starting point for your thought processes uh, and not potentially all the information that you might need. So why study biology? Well, I've always said that to study A-level biology, there's two things you need to have. Really, you have to be good at biology. Uh, that should really mean um, a grade eight or nine in your GCSEs. Uh, and you, you should really be interested in it. So if you, in, if you enjoy the subject, if you're interested in it and you're good at it, they are the sort of key factors that we really need here. Um, how might you find out about that? Well, you should really talk to your classroom teachers about your potential, your, your, your target grades. Um, and as I said, do you find the subject interesting? In terms of content, uh, the content of A-level biology is very similar to the content of GCSE. Um, most of the subjects that you've done at GCSE we will revisit, uh, we will revisit them in a lot more detail. Um, and if you're ever interested in looking ahead at what the topics might be, I do have textbooks available. We do the OCR course. Um, and if you want to have a look at a textbook or you want any more information, obviously you can email me or contact me. We do OCR Biology A is the, is the subject we do. So I would recommend that you do actually uh, do some research online, look at the content, look at the specification, uh, and talk to other people in the school in terms of um, what you've actually studied. So that's the content. Um, so why study biology at Bab Lake? Well, we have a, a dedicated team of teachers. All, all classes are taught in labs. Um, and we've got a lot of experience in dealing with students of all abilities and from all different backgrounds. Uh, our results tend to be uh, very good. And we're very good at um, the transition between GCSE and A-level. Um, we do put in cohort tests throughout the years. This means that you can regularly be tested against uh, the cohort, you can see where you are, where your strengths and weaknesses are, and potentially what grade you might achieve at the end of the course. This obviously is very important in terms of your UCAS applications in the future. So that's a little bit about the course, and I do encourage you to come and speak to me or email me uh, to get more information. Um, there is a prat practical aspect to the course um, that basically means that you will do 12 or more generally more practicals within the classroom um, environment. Um, you will be given a task to complete. You will need to complete all 12 of those tasks before the end of your A-level. Uh, they're not done in test conditions. There's no test atmosphere there. It is purely a can-do um, arrangement. So can you use a microscope correctly? Can you um, do a titration? Can you use a colorimeter? And if you can't do it on the day, we, we're happy to help you along with that. And as soon as you've achieved that skill, we tick that off. So that's the practical aspect. And of course, biology is a practical subject. We do build on your practical skills. So that is something to, to think about. Um, we also run um, additional help and classes for people who are specifically interested in medicine, veterinary science and dentistry. Those uh, classes run alongside um, our normal biology classes uh, because the entrance requirements for those subjects are a little bit different and we need to enhance your application process. In terms of future, obviously we're not expecting everybody to take A-level biology and know exactly where they want to go, what degree they want to do, what career they want. But a few little tips here. One, you really do need chemistry GCSE. Um, we wouldn't, wouldn't want to accept anybody without that. That would make um, the A-level very difficult. Uh, obviously, biology goes with all of the subjects. Um, there's quite a few people who do the classic biology, chemistry, physics, uh, biology, chemistry, plus another. Uh, we do have a few people who do biology on their own. Um, but you do need um, chemistry, and I would recommend as a great combination biology-chemistry. There is a considerable amount of um, biochemistry in this course, and therefore uh, chemistry knowledge would be really helpful as well. In terms of degrees, where can you go with this? Well, so many. Okay? What I would encourage you to do is go onto a, a good university website, type in biology, and look at the certain things you can study. Okay. There are the classic medicine, veterinary science uh, and dentistry, but a lot of our students go on to do degrees such as biochemistry, uh, medical microbiology, um, biotechnology, 
physiotherapy, nursing, lots of other subjects. Uh, marine biology has been taken. Um, biochemistry, genetics tend to be the, the, the favourite subjects taken here. And we do have a lot of people go on to do those subjects as well. So finally, what am I saying? Well, what I want you to be is I want you to be excited about your A-level choices and I want you to make the right choice. So what I would encourage you to do from now on is to gather as much information as you possibly can, wherever that be from. Um, talk to current A-level students, talk to uh, people who are thinking of doing the same uh, ch subject choices as you, and just talk to staff or contact me. I want you to be excited about biology. I want you to come and join us. Um, so I look forward to speaking to you soon.